Hi there guys, Ralph here. Today I'm gonna to be going over the iDig Kits slope functionality. So you can dig at a slope and it'll accurately tell you where you're at, whether you're digging straight on the slope or a little bit off angle. So what we're gonna do is come over here to the slope icon with the percentage next to it, and then we're gonna hit single. And it's gonna have us put in a length, and we can actually do it from the bottom or the top of the hill. I'm gonna leave it positive. And I'm gonna do 45 just so it's easier to see. So in the profile view, you see it'll actually tell it'll actually show you how steep of an angle you have off to the right there. And it wants us to align the cab. So in order to do that, we have to click that button and then it's gonna start alignment. So it needs to know what angle that we're aligning to. And it aligned pretty quick there, and you can see where it about 90 degrees were perpendicular to the slope as I haven't moved the bucket since I clicked the line. And now I'm gonna tell it uh, to zero where my bucket's at. So I just have my bucket flat on the ground. If you wanna dig five feet down, you're laying pipe down there or something, you have your edit here and then you can just go down five. You can manipulate it from there, but I'm just gonna stay ground level just for display purposes. So, from here, if I move my bucket towards me, it's expecting that 45 degree angle uphill. And as you can see, I am not going up as fast as I need to be. And it'll keep telling me as well. I also have my LED sensor down here, keeping me updated on me being too low as well. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. And so if I just bring it straight towards me, let me open the bucket a little bit. If I just bring it straight towards me, it's gonna keep telling me that I'm way below. Just cause it's such a steep angle. But now that we're getting closer, and then I pull up, you see we're about 45 degrees from the bottom where I called zero. Now something cool about it is this 2D sensor actually can see off to the sides as well. So I'm gonna push my bucket back out and I'm gonna turn to the side. And now let's say I want to dig at that same exact slope at this angle over here. So I'm going to go down and it's actually going to show me exactly what's going on on my left view here as well. So you see how it's like angled to the side. Now as I bring it up, it should become higher, even steeper, even quicker. Because I'm digging in at an angle to the, to the slope that I want now and it's much higher off here to the side. And I can show you that just by putting my bucket out here, just like this, and then just swinging side to side. So I have my bucket at about foot and a half up right now. If I just rotate to the right here, it should be getting closer and closer to grade, even though I'm not lowering the bucket. And that's just because it's reading an infinite slope off to that side so it'll actually update you on what you're looking for there and with the dual slope you can add a little more complication to it um, most people end up just using the single slope just for that reason alone and i'll probably have another video on that dual slope if uh if i get any requests for it but other than that that's all i had to show you guys today thanks for watching